Early Start assists schools to plan for differentiated teaching and learning in their classrooms. Today, we will see how leaders and teachers at Kedron State School analyse their Early Start data to inform the next steps for planning. In order to maximise the impact of Early Start, the department supports school leaders to take a whole of school approach and lead data informed conversations to interpret and analyse early start reports and plan for next steps in teaching and learning. The Australian Council for Educational Research argues data informed conversations do not happen by themselves. Rather, they require school leadership teams to structure and enable professional learning over time that draws on collective professional knowledge and practice focused on improving student outcomes through improving the quality of teaching and learning. Let's visit Kedron State School now to see data-informed practice in action. At Kedron State School, we've been implementing Early Start for six years. And in that time, our understanding and therefore the value that we attribute to this data has deepened. We have a whole of school improvement plan that includes the use of Early Start. At Kedron State School, we believe the investment of professional time and resourcing is a small price for the individualised information we gain about our students and the confidence it provides teachers to tailor explicit learning experiences that target current learning needs. As part of our implementation of Early Start, our curriculum leaders schedule time to facilitate and actively contribute to collaborative data conversations to analyse the data to inform curriculum planning decisions. The data informs our planning at a student level, but also at a whole of cohort level as well. For instance, Early Start data sets, along with our Early Childhood Data Profile, AEDC data and observation and transition information prior to PrEP has identified a need to support our oral language and phonemic awareness programs. This information in the early days of children's PrEP experience is invaluable and allows us a head start on closing gaps and strengthening identified learning differences. The longitudinal nature of Early Start also allows us to check in on student progress and map junctures of improvement we would expect to see. When preparing for data-informed conversations with teams, we work with teachers to download the Early Start reports and the literacy continuum. Our teachers are prepared for the conversations with professional learning to support an understanding of the reports and the language we will use to interpret them. Year level teams are then guided through data conversations to analyse the critical aspects of literacy that have been highlighted as a need or challenge. To ensure the conversation has rigour, it is important that I am familiar with the data prior to meeting with teachers. The first report we're going to look at is the Early Start Assessment Results by Question Report. Has everyone had a chance to look through the data for the on-entry to PrEP assessment? Yes. Oh, great. Let's filter to the phonological awareness questions. Tell me what you see. I noticed that more students giving incorrect responses to the last mm -hmm. four questions. Oh. So what's different about the last four questions? It's a different skill. The last four questions are asking the student to generate a new rhyming word, whereas the first four questions, the student has to identify if words rhyme or not. I can also see that we've got a number of students who will require consolidation of recognising rhyming words, so we'll need to ensure we plan for all students. Yes, definitely. Let's filter to show the concepts about print questions. What do you notice about item number 26? I think it's interesting that for on entry to prep, we have a number of students who are able to independently read the first page of The Wise Frog when we know that this skill is above year level expectation in the Australian curriculum. We will need to make a note of these students to gather more data to verify and understand their learning needs. Mm, true. Building the capacity of our teachers to interpret early start data is vital so that everyone owns the data. Teachers are then able to reflect on where the students are at and what they can do. Early Start is great, as a lot of student responses map automatically to the literacy continuum in one school, which supports us to plan for differentiated teaching and learning. We use the continuum for ongoing monitoring of students' literacy development across the school year, as it supports teachers to identify student strengths, challenges, and next steps in literacy learning. The Early Start data 
also helps upfront the iterative elements of literacy and numeracy across the broader learning areas. At Kedron State School, we focus on learning engagement as well as academic achievement, and Early Start is an invaluable tool for us to ensure we capture and monitor precisely where students are in their learning to inform ongoing literacy and numeracy development. Early Start gives us so much information about the precious children we teach. Our teachers are confident with and trust the tool to ensure the best outcomes for our students. Kedron State School has some great ways of working with their Early Start data. At your school, you will find authentic ways to analyse Early Start data to suit your local context and needs. For more information on analysing Early Start data, visit the Early Start page on the Learning Place. Thank you.